Hi, I'm Carissa Scholten, and I'll be your child's art teacher this semester. A bit about myself, I have my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Art Education from the University of Illinois, as well as my Master's Degree in Instructional Technology from Northern Illinois University. I've been teaching at St. Charles North since 2007, focusing primarily on digital art, photography, and AP Studio Art. Now let's take a look at some of the course expectations and some sample student artwork. Welcome to Back to School Night for Digital Art 2, Design and Illustration. I'm Mrs. Scholten with Third Hour. First, I'd like to cover expectations and coursework. Students will be accessing assignments and submitting their work through Google Classroom. Students will learn how to create artworks using both Photoshop, continuing from what they learned in Digital Art 1, and a new piece of software to them, Adobe Illustrator. Students are accessing Photoshop and Illustrator by logging in to our Citrix servers using the programs through a remote connection with their Chromebooks or personal computer. I have the directions on how to do this on our course Google Classroom page under the Classwork tab or stream and under the Resources topic. Students so far have had um, success with getting logged in. Um, with a few hiccups here and there, but we're ironing out those wrinkles um, as we move into this new um, access for us um, for this software. Students should be logged in at the start of each class and remain working on their digital art assignments during the duration of class when there is individual work time. Um, students should return to the whole group after individual work time to check in with the teacher and submit their progress for the day and I'll be doing attendance at the start and the end of class. They'll be submitting then a screenshot of their work completed for the day to show me the progress they're making towards that assignment. During that individual work time students can access me in a breakout room to ask for help um, and I really advise students to be a self-advocate and to use that to check in with me. I will also have some formalized check-ins as well um, but ad lib students can jump in at any point in time during those breakout rooms um, unless something else is going on. Additionally, students can reach out to me to schedule an office hours session um, anytime between 7.20 and 8.15 on Tuesday to Friday mornings, basically on every even and odd day. I next wanted to show some examples of some student projects um, so you get an idea of the types of things your child will be creating. Um, the first is the visual pun design, and that's what we're working up to right now. Your child has so far been going through a series of Illustrator tutorials to teach them how to use the basic tools and techniques of this pretty immense software. Um, and so we'll be jumping then next into this visual pun design once that foundation is built. Um, and it'll be an introduction again to those basic building techniques and telling a little story with uh, a pun visually. The second project is a monogram design and that'll be an investigation of live paint and pen tool features in Illustrator to create a complex or illuminated letter design. And then we will end our main projects with Illustrator creating a travel poster and it'll be a complex Illustrator design that depicts a real or fantastical place developed through a combination of previously explored shape building techniques and typography balance with the imagery will also be explored such as the headers, the secondary typography and looking at that hierarchy. We'll shift gears then and start to look at how we can work between Photoshop and Illustrator, and that will be the geometric photo design. So they'll create the design or the, the framework of the shapes in Illustrator and then take that to Photoshop to fragment and to reassemble this photograph of their choosing. Um, moving from there, we go into a photo manipulated advertisement project. Um, and this is an extension of what they learned in Digital Art 1 with the Surrealism project. Um, and it's more student guided, um, where they can choose the product product and the um, mode that they would like to advertise it, but it must be a photo manipulation. Um, and then from there, we will move to a hand-drawn animation. And so that'll be an exploration of animation through Photoshop's animation tools to create an original short animation. So you can see this example here of this little looping animation. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email, carissa.scholten at d303.org, and I really look forward to working with your child this semester.